Mike Schmitz here with DJ Carton at USA Basketball Under 18 Training Camp. I know this is your first USA Basketball experience. Uh, how has it been for you so far? Yeah, I feel like uh, it's been a great experience and, uh, you know, getting to be able to compete with all these uh, high high level guys and stuff like that and, you know, getting to know these guys and, you know, become, become good friends with them. It's, overall, it's a good experience just to be coached by all these great coaches too. So, I mean, this is one once in a lifetime experience and I'm great to be a part of it. How did the invite come about? When did you hear about it? Yeah, I was in uh, Dallas uh, for a tournament, and uh, I, w one of the directors uh, watched me, and he uh, liked the way I play and liked the way I carried myself on the court and stuff like that, and uh, that ended up getting me here and uh, into this trial. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I describe myself as an athletic true point guard. I feel like uh, I, can, I can get my teammates the ball really well, and I feel like I do a good job of you know, getting my teammates the ball in the right position to score. But I also feel like I can get a bucket if I need to. So I, I feel like I'm a true athletic point guard that should in basket. And what can you tell me about your background? You know, where you're from, how long you've been playing basketball? Yeah, uh, my dad played in the MLB, so I grew up around baseball, and but I didn't really like it as much. So I ended up, I played basketball since I was four, but I really started focusing on it uh, freshman year. And uh, since then, I've been getting in the weight room and stuff like that and got my athleticism up. And, Ever since I've just kind of, you know, really skyrocketed and improved my game a lot. Sure. Where did he play baseball? Uh, for the Giants. Okay. For the Giants, Desi Wilson. So. Okay. And how long did he play? He played for, I believe, like three years. Okay. Three years, a couple in AAA and stuff like sure. that. Sure. So he was, he was moving around and stuff. So I, I moved to quite a bit of places. I lived in Arizona, North Carolina, New York, Iowa, Illinois. So I've been all around. So. Sure. How do you think that kind of, you seem very mature for your age. How do you think that kind of shaped you into who you are? Yeah, uh, my, my parents, both my parents actually played Division I of sports, and you know, they know what it takes to get go through uh, this process and stuff. So I feel like they've done a good job of uh, keeping my head down and staying focused throughout this process and staying humble and mature. So it definitely helped me, you know, helped me become the man I am today. So I feel like that's where it's come from. Sure. And when did people first start noticing you? I mean, when can you feel like your momentum, you know, building now? Like, when did that kind of start? Yeah, uh, last year I got my uh, first offer, and ever since then, you know, I just confidence uh, just started getting boosted and stuff like that, and I've just kind of uh, turned into a whole different player. Just my mentality on the court kind of had that dog in me and stuff like that. So, ever since, uh, you know, I want to say probably last year during the summer, uh, I feel like I've uh, really improved my game in a lot of ways. Sure. How have you been? What has your AAU season been like so far? Yeah, AAU season been good. I, I play with uh, Quad City Elite NY Two LA. I, I decided not to play with any shoe brand teams just because uh, Quad City Elite gave a lot to me, and when I wasn't, you know, the best player, stuff like that, and they've been with me all along through this process. So I decided to give back to that organization and stuff like that. So I've had a really good AAU season. Had a really good time with my friends and stuff, just playing and enjoying the game. So overall, it's been a great season. What, what, did you have some offers, obviously, from big shoe company teams? Or? Yeah, yeah, I had some offers uh, from some pretty EYBL, Adidas, uh, some Under Armour teams. Yeah, I had some offers from them, and, and I decided to turn it down just because I feel more comfortable playing with my coaches, and I, I have a, too strong of a relationship. And sure. It's, it's a little more than just basketball sometimes. Sure. So that's kind of where I was at with that. Sure. What are you looking for in a, in a college program and all that? Yeah, uh, what I'm looking for is a, a great relationship with the coach and, uh, and players. I feel like that's a big part just because, I mean, if I'm not comfortable out there playing with the people who I'm playing with, I mean, I'm not going to play the best to my ability. So uh, definitely, uh, I feel like academics, uh, I want to go in broadcasting. Um, so that's definitely one thing to look into. And, uh, you know, just the, bl the play style also, just because I like playing going up and down. I feel like that's where I excel. So I feel like uh, if, I, if the team plays up and down, that's where I can, you know, get others involved and do my thing on the court. Where does the broadcast interest come from? Uh, broadcast interest comes from uh, me and my grandpa actually watching, like, March Madness growing up since I was, like, four years old, making our picks and stuff. And, like, we talk about it for hours, just, like, why we think this team's going to win and stuff like that. So it, it's really come from that and just watching games as a, as a young kid. And, you know, I like to put my opinion on the game and stuff like that. So it's come from that, and I just love watching basketball. So. Where do you think you still need to improve as a player? Yeah, uh, some things I need to improve on is uh, just, you know, shooting, obviously. I feel like uh, I'm a pretty good, uh, consistent three-point shooter now, but it's kind of that second-level mid-range. Uh, try to get that more into my game because uh, I'm going to need that at the next level. So really it's just sharpening the outside perimeter shot and, you know, getting that mid-range into my game. Who do you like to watch and study, take little things from? Yeah, uh, some guys I kind of, you know, do my game after is John Wall. 
He's my favorite player growing up, so I really like uh, you know his explosiveness, Russell Westbrook, uh, just guys like that who are as explosive and kind of have that mentality of, of a dog, and that's kind of who I want to play like and stuff. So I, I definitely like those guys, and that's kind of why I, how I play. Sure, great. Well, thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one.